As some of you may know, uh, they are still counting votes in Iowa. I assume that one of these years that vote count will be completed. But as of 70% of the count, we are winning the popular vote. And we thank the, we thank the people of Iowa. And they have, in Iowa, they have a complicated system and there's a realignment vote. We're winning that one as well. And uh, I think we're gonna have an equal number of delegates from Iowa going to the national convention. So now as I think many of you know, today is a, kind of serious and solemn day for the country. Uh, and the reason I'm wearing a tie is I'm gonna be on a plane in a few minutes uh, going to Washington, D.C. to vote for the impeachment of President Trump. And this is serious business. And it's something that I have taken seriously. You know, frankly, I would have preferred to be campaigning in New Hampshire and Iowa during the period, but an impeachment is a rarity. It is of enormous consequence, and it's something that I have taken seriously, as other senatorial candidates have done as well. But this impeachment vote is not about a difference in policy. This is about abuse of power. What is significant is if Trump is able to get away with it, and I fear very much that he will, because we don't have enough Republicans in the Senate who have the courage to do what many of them know is right. If Trump gets away with this, I want you to appreciate the precedent that is being established. It means that future presidents can say to a governor, hey, I got some infrastructure money for you, but you're not gonna get your fair share unless I get your endorsement. Or go to China and say, hey, China, I need some help in my coming election. See what kind of dirt you could dig up on my opponent, and we'll give you a better trade agreement. That's called abuse of power.